Welcome back everybody, this is episode number 10 of this tutorial series on Arduino for complete beginners. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. So now that we have a circuit with an LED and that we have written some code with the digital write function, well you might actually wonder how does the digital pin work with this output mode for the LED. And well, that's a really great timing for you to ask this question because that's exactly what I'm going to explain right now. To be able to fully control an LED, you need first to understand how to use digital pins on Arduino. So on the Arduino board, you have two kinds of pins to control hardware components, digital pins here in orange and analog pins in green. On the Arduino Uno, you have 14 digital pins as you can see here, the pins are represented by a number from 0 to 13. On different Arduino boards like Arduino Nano or Mega, you may have a different layout for the pins or even a different amount of digital pins. But if you understand how digital pins are working with this Arduino Uno example, then it will be very easy for you to work with any other Arduino board. So a digital pin can be used either to actuate a component, such as an LED like we did before, or to read from a sensor, for example, a push button. Now, how to work with digital pins? Well, the first thing you need to do is to set a mode for the pin. You can choose either input or output mode. In this lesson, because we are working with an LED, we will only focus on the output mode. And then, once the pin is set as an output pin, you can change its state. For that, you have two options, high or low. This is a binary state. High means that the output will be 5 volt, because that is what the Arduino delivers, and zero means zero volt. So if you put an LED on a digital pin and set the pin state to high, the LED will be powered on. Then if you set the state to low, the LED will simply be powered off. And now that you have a better understanding of digital pins as output pins, let's quickly make a recap of how to work with an LED. So here in our circuit, we already have the LED plugged on pin number 12. So the first thing I'm going to do is to do a define, define with LED pin 12. So I'm going to create a constant here with define LED pin all uppercase with an underscore and then directly the value. So whenever we need to use this number in our code, okay, for the LED pin, we just need to write LED pin instead, which will make it much easier later on if, for example, we want to change the pin where the LED is attached. So first step, you use a define to easily get access to the pin number in your code. And then in the setup, so I'm going to remove that command. In the setup, you will use the pin mode function here to set the mode of the pin. So for now, we have seen only the mode output. So the first parameter here is the pin number and then the mode. So the mode will be out, put all uppercase and it should turn blue, okay? Once you have done that, the pin 12 is defined as an output pin, okay? Not an input pin. So from now on, after you have used the pin mode function, you can change the state of the pin. And we can directly do that here if we want to. Digital write LED pin with let's say high because it will be low by default. So we set the mode and once we have set the mode we can directly set the state whether high or low. So now let's say in our program we want to make the LED blink but first when we start the program we want the LED to be powered on for three seconds. So for example we can do delay 3000 here. So we power on the LED, we wait for three seconds and then we will enter the loop function, okay? And in the loop function, well, digital write LED pin. So here maybe we are going to start with low and then wait for, let's say, 500 milliseconds and then digital write LED pin 
high. Wait for another 500 milliseconds. All right, and we have our blink example right here. So nothing complicated, as you can see. First, we set the mode, and once the mode is set, we can just change the state as many times as we want. So now let's upload this program here. Name it LED. All right, and you should see the LED powered on for three seconds, and now the LED is blinking. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full complete course on Arduino named Arduino for Beginners. This course contains about seven times more content than the series. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.